practicing interior designing in here in Bombay. Uh, Quran have given all the minute details of embryology. Apart from a miracle or a Hazrat Adam alayhi salam, is it not a contradictory that Hazrat Isa alayhi salam is born without a father's sperms? What is the exact scientific reasoning? The brothers posed the question that how can you prove scientifically the miracle of Jesus peace be upon him that he was born without a father, without male intervention. Brother, as I said in my talk, a miracle is an unusual event for which human beings cannot give an explanation. It's an unusual event which is attributed to supernatural power to God Almighty. The miracles which took place in the past, most of them does not give an opportunity to analyze them today because we can't go back in the past. We can't go back in the past. There are few miracles which give us an opportunity to examine them. Now all the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who came before Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, they were only sent for their people. Only for their people. And the message was for a limited time period. Therefore even the miracle was for a limited time period. What miracles did it then satisfy those people? Those miracles just by saying that Jesus Christ was born without any father will not satisfy an unbeliever. Why? He can't go back in time and verify. Because all the messengers that came before Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, they were meant only for their time, not for eternity. But Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, he is the messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is the last and final messenger. He was not only sent for the Muslims or the Arabs. He was sent for the whole of humanity. And his message is still eternity. Therefore, the miracle that he has bought the Holy Quran can be analyzed even today. It's a miracle till eternity. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, has done hundreds of miracles, other miracles, which we Muslims believe. But he never emphasized that. We Muslims don't boast of that. We Muslims only boast of this because we can't prove those miracles scientifically. But this living miracle of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, which was given to him by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, can be analyzed by us even today. So previous miracles, time does not allow us to go back in time. If we could go back in time, we could have analyzed how was he born without a father. But yet, brother, I can yet give you a scientific explanation. I can yet give you. Today, science tells us there are certain species which can be born without male intervention. And the best example is the male bee. The male bee is the egg which has not been fertilized by a male. The queen bee which lays eggs, which doesn't get fertilized by the male, they are born as male. The female bee is the egg which are fertilized by the male. So there are several animals today in this world who are born without fertilization. I do know that this thing takes place in low animals. There's no proof in higher animals. Who does it? Science cannot tell us. Allah's mother does it. So when Allah can make this possible to happen in Isa alayhi salam, where it is described in Surah Al-Imran, chapter 3, verse 45 to 47, it says, Skalat al-malaikati ya Maryamu, inna Allah yubushir ki bikalmatin ismahul masihu isa ibn Maryama wa jihan fi dunya wa al-akhiratul minal mukarabin that behold the angel said to Mary we give we you glad tidings of a word from him his name shall be Christ son of Mary who will be held in honor in this world and in the hereafter and he will be among the companies of those most righteous those most righteous so the verse continues that he will speak to the people in childhood and in maturity and will be among the people those who are righteous. So Mary peace be upon us. How shall I have a son when no man has touched me? The answer is given. amran When Allah decreed the matter, He just said to it, "Be and it is." I have given you a scientific explanation. When Allah can make it possible in a male be, it's very much easy for Allah to make it possible, even in this. In Jesus alayhi salam, for him, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to create a Jesus, peace be upon him, 
iza qaza amran fa inma yakun lakum fa yakun when he decreed the matter he just said to it be and it is for him to create a million people like that it's just easy it's a miracle i'm not telling you jesus christ peace be upon him was born like that like the male bee i don't know i have given you a scientific explanation when it's possible there why can allah make it in the higher animals the human beings i hope that answers the question